Hello and welcome to the tutorial on subtraction. In this tutorial we're going to learn about number bonds to 100. And now this follows on from our previous tutorial of number bonds to 50. Let's have a look at our first example. What is, or let me re-say this, say this again, 100 minus something equals 37. 100 minus something equals 37. Now what we mean by this is what number added to 37 will give us 100. Okay? What number added to 37 is going to give us 100. Now how we do this is the same method we used before. Have a look at number 37. The units we've got 7. Now that 7 we have to turn to 0. What number are we going to add? Well we're going to add 3. We know this from our number bonds. 7 plus 3 is 10. So 37 plus 3 is 40. Next we're going to look at the tens. We've now got four tens and if you look at the number 100, the number 100 has got 10 tens. So what number added to 4 is going to give us 10? Again from our number bonds we know it's 6. 4 plus 6 is 10. Okay, this 10 over here is the 4 plus 6 equals 10. We add these two together and we got six, 4 plus 6 is 10. 0 plus 0 is 0. So we've reached our target of getting to 100. So what number did we add to the number 37 over here to give us 100? Well, we had 3 and we also added 60. So we added 63. That is our answer. 100 minus 63 equals 37. Okay, again, as I've said before, it's a lot simpler than it looks. Okay, this time we have 100 minus something equals 58. Okay, 100 minus something equals 58. Now again, using the same method, we've got 58, we've got 8 units. What do we need to add 8 to make it in effect 0 or 10? Well, we need to add 2. 8 plus 2 is 10, and the 5 becomes a 6. Now we do the 10s. We've got 6 10s. 60. It's got 6 10s. What number do we need to add to 6 to make it 10? Don't forget 100 has got 10 tens. It's got 100 and 0 tens, which is the same as 10 tens. So what number do we need to add? Well, we need to add 4. Don't forget the 0 because we're doing tens. And we just underline this. Make sure we've got to 100. 0 plus 0 is 0. 6 plus 4 is 10. So we've got to our target of making it to 100. Now what numbers did we add to the number we started from, 58, to make this 100? Well we added 2 and we added 40. So we added 42. That is our answer. 100 minus 42 equals 58. And as I've said before more than once, it's a lot simpler than it looks. Practice and practice again and you will be able to answer this very, very quickly.